When you give a narcissist the silent treatment, strange things will happen to him. These individuals are more prone to causing harm to others due to their perception of their own emotions as vulnerabilities that could pose a threat. If these adults' upbringing lacked adequate support or encouragement from their parents, it's likely to have contributed to their current mindset. They also harbour the belief that projecting strength is paramount in garnering respect from others. For them, few things are more undesirable than not being liked or admired. Welcome, everyone. We're delighted you've tuned in to this broadcast. If you're eager to delve deeper into the world of narcissism, consider watching this film. It sheds light on the distinction between receiving the silent treatment from a narcissist and administering it. Unlike manipulative individuals who employ silence to elicit attention or favour, we don't resort to such tactics. In the forthcoming discussion, I'll outline effective strategies for silencing a narcissist and invite you to speculate on their likely reaction when met with silence. Given the prevalence of narcissistic personalities, many find it challenging, if not impossible, to steer clear of such individuals. While it's impossible to guarantee immunity from every narcissist, it's valuable to learn how to avoid engaging with them in general. Narcissists have the ability to inflict emotional harm, which underscores the importance of asserting yourself and refusing to engage with their manipulations or demonstrate concern. It's crucial to differentiate between our approach to maintaining radio silence and the tactics employed by narcissists. Using silence as a tool for punishment and control is a common strategy employed by narcissists in their interactions, particularly towards those under their authority. When faced with rejection, criticism, or any form of challenge, narcissists often resort to silence as a means of exerting power. Rather than vocalizing their thoughts or emotions, they invest their energy in plotting their next move or devising ways to undermine their perceived adversaries. The sudden cessation of communication by a narcissist is typically intended to inflict harm. They weaponize silence as a means of manipulation, displaying callousness and ill intent. Conversely, when we choose to remain silent around narcissists, adopt a grey rock approach, or cease communication altogether, it's primarily to safeguard our own well-being. Entrusting a narcissist was a grave error, as we've learned firsthand the perils associated with engaging with them. Dealing with narcissists can indeed pose significant dangers, reinforcing the necessity of caution in our interactions with them. We're aware that narcissists intentionally provoke us with words and actions to test our boundaries. Additionally, it's important to note that narcissists will accuse us of mental abuse and neglect if we remain silent when they feel mistreated. This is their tactic to shift blame onto us, as they never accept responsibility for their actions. In essence, narcissists are habitual liars, using our silence against us, while using it as a tool to manipulate and hinder us. Furthermore, Narcissists struggle with self-care, adding another layer to their behaviour. Our silence may cause them distress and confusion, as they rely on our reactions for validation. However, enabling their behaviour only exacerbates the situation. Narcissists can only exert control over us when we openly express our thoughts and emotions. Therefore, the most effective strategy is to maintain silence in their presence. Nasty people can't get what they want if we don't say anything. They are not being harmed in any way here. In the end, safety is the most important thing. You should take care of yourself, and no one, especially a narcissist, should make you feel bad about it. Also, ignoring a narcissist does not make you a narcissist, even if that person calls you one. It's not always a sign that someone is trying to hurt you when they avoid you. This is the best way to stop a narcissist from ruling you, based on what we've learned. 
One of the best ways to get a narcissist to stop bothering you is to ignore them. Plus, you get points for not being able to say what you feel or think. Narcissists will make you feel bad and use you up if you let them into your life. They need us to feel something, understand them, and act in other ways. They'll have to find another way to get in if they can't. You shouldn't really give them anything. They will, however, sometimes call you names and say mean things to you to hurt your image and get you to answer. People who try to avoid narcissists make them more angry. We want this because we really need to get away from them. You can give them the cold shoulder or grey rock them if that makes them stop talking. It's not worth our mental and emotional energy to waste it on people who only want to drain us. Nasty people can hurt us in many ways if we don't do anything. We need to take the lead and make sure they don't get in the way again. I really want to tell everyone to stay away from narcissists at all costs. Always remember that narcissists can only get us to do what they want if we care about them. To deal with a narcissist well, you need to stay calm. Nasty people will take over if you let them. That's all I have to say today. I hope the movie taught you something. Leave a comment below and tell us what you think. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch this.